Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about my top 10 favorite products from Base Travel. What I love about the brand is that the items are very stylish and very kind of minimal in design, but they're very functional. If you have been following my channel for a while, you can see that I have an entire playlist dedicated to my reviews of Base. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> Everything I have from them, I have purchased directly. What's great about the brand is that they are available at different retailers. So you, other than basetravel.com, you can get them from Revolve. Also Ulta carries a lot of the smaller items. My favorite though is from Nordstrom because I, I do have a Nordstrom card. Um, I earn a lot of bonus points from, for, you know, from other things. And so I can redeem my Nordstrom note. And today I will be ranking my top 10 favorite items from Base. So number 10 for me is the convertible mini weekender bag. The Weekender bag, which is back there, it's obviously bigger. I did a review, by the way, for all of these, I pretty much have done reviews for almost everything um, here. So I'll link those below. But I did a review comparing the Mini Weekender to the regular Weekender bag. What's great about this is it has this bottom compartment for shoes or whatever, but this also um, can be removed. And so then you're left with this, just this portion that you can use as a work tote for the duration of you know your work travel. It is great because it has this wide opening. My favorite part about this is the removable laptop sleeve. I actually use this um, in my other bags for my MacBook Air. So I think this is great. The difference with the Weekender is that there is no removable sleeve. The, the laptop pocket is padded inside. I think this is a great bag for kind of a day trip or maybe travel like on a road trip or if you want to carry this as your personal item bag on a plane. So this is my number 10 favorite. Number nine is the travel wallet in the beige croc. And this is great because it has a phone slip pocket on the outside. It has a wristlet strap and a crossbody strap that is adjustable. This is great for international travel because it has these seven card slots. It has a clear pocket for ID. And this fits two pass passports in the passport pocket. And then the currency here, you can't see any of the currency inside. So when you're traveling, it's great because when you need to open this up, you you know you can't tell how much cash you have inside, which I think is a great safety feature. It also has a pen, which is great for again for international travel in case you need, you know, when you need to fill out forms, and just in general. This makes a great everyday wallet, and it's great for travel also. Number eight are the packing cubes. Now I didn't feature this on my YouTube channel yet. However, I did post a picture of this on my Instagram. I did use this recently when we flew to visit family for Christmas. I did use this, and it was great. What I love about this is many things. So I'm a huge proponent for packing cubes. I think they are essential to making life easier. They are great for helping you organize your packing uh, when, you're, when you're flying. And also once you get to your destination, they're great because then you can leave whatever items in here. What I love about this is they are clearly labeled. They even come prepared with labels and you can organize it either by, you know, the items or by the day of the week. So for the largest packing cube, I have bottoms, next is tops, and then undies, you know, undies and bras. They also come with two shoe bags. And now what I love about these are that it has this clear panel so you can see what your shoe is inside. It has another zip pouch for, you know, you can keep dirties in here or whatever. Uh, I think last time I actually put electronics in here. They also have these handles that are convenient for, you know, grabbing whatever you need. So yeah, so that's number eight, the packing cubes. So number seven is the Weekender bag. Um, I did, again, I did an entire video reviewing this. I've taken this on several trips. What I love about this is the bottom compartment and I've kept the cardboard little wall here to maintain the base structure. Now, if you want to use this as a personal bag, it really has to kind of squish down under the under the uh, seat in front of you. So you can't fill this to capacity. So I, I just think this is great for travel. It has a huge doctor frame opening and it just fits a ton of stuff inside. This is a great travel bag. It has the signature trolley pass through for, um, you know, putting over rolling luggage. Base Weekender is number seven. Number six for me is the diaper bag. Now I have already done two videos about this. I did my initial review when I received it and then I did an updated uh, what's in my diaper bag packing video. This is probably the most beautiful diaper bag that I own. I have lots of diaper bags. I have three kids, two are still in diapers. One is still a baby, he just turned one, my youngest. 
so I still use a diaper bag. Now I do see that a lot of people are carrying this just as a regular tote bag and this is a great work bag. You can remove these extra straps if you want but this is so pretty. It's the, I, I would say this is my favorite feature is this chain strap. I just think it's really nice. It has also inside so I have this loaded up still because I just used it you know as a diaper bag. Um, back here it has a, a padded laptop sleeve or a diaper changing pad here. In one of the uh, ads they call it the anti-diaper bag which I would totally agree I in my opinion I don't think it looks like a diaper bag but I just think it's so nice and it's so practical and has a lot of features and functions that make it work really well for a diaper bag so definitely check out my video if you want more information I go in depth into all the features of the diaper bag number five I chose the seat back organizer I love this little thing and I have used this already several times on my recent flights this is so great because this almost works as a travel wallet when you're going through you know security you can keep all your things in here and then once you're on the plane you stick this part in the seat in front of you and then you have these pockets here where you can keep your phone your you know lipstick chapstick earbuds it's just so perfect for especially for long-haul flights where you're instead of going in and out of the bag in front of you it's all right right in front of you you can very convenient um, this I, I can't I don't know how I can fly without this anymore I actually have this in two colors because I got it in black originally and then when she came out with the pink then I got pink so now I use the black one for you know my husband or one of my kids can use it in front of them so I have two of these they're great the seat back organizer number four is a three-way tie between the on-the-go essentials case the cosmetic case and the DOP kit uh, now they are tied because I think all three are just essential for travel. I had to get rid of one thing within these three. I would say the DOP kit, I, maybe I don't need to use as much. So um, my favorite thing about this is it has this toothbrush pouch right here. So I just went to the dentist and then you know they give you a toothbrush. So I just kind of stick that in there in the plastic already. But yeah, it's great because you can keep all your liquids in here. It doesn't spill. And then in the bottom, what I, I actually carry my sheet masks and everything. So I still have some for my last trip. But yeah, this is great. I love the color. And I love that this can hang from the bathroom or from your bag if you're traveling. I own a lot of cosmetic cases, but this is my favorite because I will tell you why. It comes with this gigantic mirror and this brushes pouch is magnetic. So it is removable. And a lot of my other cosmetic cases, even if they have this brush pouch, you can't remove it. So you're kind of going back and forth and back and forth with the makeup um, compartment and then the brush pouch. But this is great because, you know, it's just these simple things. Also, this mirror is gigantic. So check out my, rev my video where, where I compare both of these. So yes, the cosmetic case. The on-the-go essentials case. It's my new favorite travel buddy <laughs> because it has two compartments. So you have the let's go and you have we're here. So for me, how I pack this in the we're here compartment, this is where I keep and also it has that same mirror similar to the cosmetic case, but just a little smaller. Um, you have this little mirror. So and I just keep my makeup and my just like kind of bare essentials makeup for just putting a face on after a long after a long flight. That's all in here. Now this I have face masks, eye gels, a sheet mask. I have these Pacifica underarm wipes. I have wet wipes in here. These are just what you need for your flight. And yeah, I just think it's great. <laughs> this is just, it's so, it's so, you're so nice and organized. Um, it has this little handy dandy um, handhold. So when you're going to the bathroom on the plane, you can bring this with you. So I just, I love this thing. Cosmetic case, the on the go essentials case, and the DOP kit are kind of tied for number four. Number three, I have this trio of mesh pouches. These come in a set of three. And if you have seen any of my what's in my bag videos, I always, always feature this. I use this every single day of my life. <laughs> I keep my charger in here. I have a wired headset. I have a headset splitter. I have my AirPods. I bring this to the gym with me and then I use this just all the time. I use it at work because, you know, I still have some headsets that don't have the lightning port. I have the adapter. And so, so, you know, you don't want to lose the adapter. You also don't want to lose the case. I keep all my essential cords in here. I have my larger cords in here, my larger uh, charging cords, for my laptop. And then this one I keep my, I actually have a, it's this, uh, this uh, lapel mic. This is what I use in all my videos. 
it's by Boya. And so I keep that in its own pouch here so I don't lose it. Um, so yeah, they all have a D-ring here so they can connect to, you know, whatever. If you have one of those key leashes in a bag, you can hook onto that so you don't lose it. But yeah, it's like, it's such a small and mighty little trio of pouches. These are great because they are also available at Ulta. So I use this all the time to organize just all my little all my little items. I'm to stick this in the same category as the cosmetic cases. So this pouch originally came with this luggage strap set. You can also get the same pouch with a passport and an, and an ID holder set. This I think is the perfect size for liquids. I love that it's a little more narrow so it keeps all my liquids standing upright so that they don't spill accidentally. Um, so yeah, I featured, the, featured this on my channel several times. This also fits perfectly in the backpack front pocket. It's made of a really heavy duty plastic. It has a really sturdy zipper and it's narrow so it keeps everything together and spill proof. So that is the base clear pouch. Number two is the work tote. I love this tote bag. I love a structured bag for work. I love that this has all these pockets on the outside. It has a zippered pocket here. I keep my ID here. Um, it has another slip pocket for water bottles and several videos reviewing the work tote. So I won't go into it, but inside it has, I love that it zips closed and it has another shoulder strap. So yeah, I, I love this bag. I use this nonstop. As soon as I got it, I have it styled here with a Louis Vuitton bandeau. I got in the limited edition espresso croc from last fall or winter. They, she reintroduced it in the core be um, beige and black. So I don't think this is available anymore, unfortunately, but I love this color. So yeah, the base work tote is number two. So my number one favorite bag from base is the backpack. I love this bag. Since I bought this last year, I have used it on every single flight and road trip <laughs> that I've had since then. It's such a great personal item bag. It slides right under the seat in front of you and it holds so much. I have done an in-depth review about it. I can do an up another um, follow-up review and how showing how it held up. But yeah, this is still in great condition. I love that it has this, these luggage, these, this uh, strap back here for clothes. Um, it has pockets in the front. I still have stuff from here for my travel. Um, I keep cords here. It has a plastic pouch here in case anything spills. The zipper goes all the way around so it opens up flat. It has these really nice pockets on the side for a water bottle. And then this front pocket, like I said, it, this keeps the, um, my liquids pouch goes right in this front pocket so it's easy to take in and out of security. It has these pockets here, pen holders. Um, I have another wet ones here. Uh, yeah, this is a great, this is a great bag. The zippers are really smooth, so you only need one hand to open it if necessary. Um, it has, oh, and also it has a padded, a separate padded compartment for your laptop. So I just, I love this. It's not, you know, the dressiest bag, but for, um, for travel, you know, who really cares? <laughs> Um, and actually, I did use this to work for a while. I mentioned how when I got this, I had just returned to work um, from maternity leave, and so I was nursing, and I would carry my, my pump to work and a bottle cooler, and it, I was able to fit it all in here. So this is great for, uh, for nursing moms returning to work. <laughs> but yeah, the base backpack is my number one favorite, my most used item from BASE. So those are my favorite items from BASE. I'm a huge fan of the brand. I love so many of their travel bags and just everyday life essential bags. I hope you enjoyed my ranking of my favorite bags from BASE. Again, check out my playlist if you're looking for more in-depth reviews of anything that I uh, featured here. If I don't have it, I can go ahead and film it for you. So let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.